Everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReview.com Book Week Part One. Uh, we've got today "Flown Away" by Jasper Blakely and Paul Romani, and uh, Jasper Blakely, his uh, his alter ego, you may have heard of, is heard of is uh, Kokov, K O C K O V, and yeah, basically means probably what you think it means. His his character is kind of a, a dirty Russian character um russian-esque um and by dirty i don't mean hasn't bathed uh i mean uh, sort of perverted um so what you get with the dvd or with the book here is this dvd and this is actually the dvd you get i wrote flown away on there because there's nothing on it. it was just blank and it's a burned disc here uh so that's what you get now the book itself, um, it, what it is, it's a routine where you your spectator chooses a destination anywhere in the world or out of 50 choices you give them. Totally free choice. They have a stack of these cards that are probably about the size of this book. They're a little more squarish though, but, but about this size. And each card has a destination on it. And the spectator can handle the cards and uh, mix them up or do whatever. And then they, they take one for themselves. They choose it. They look at it. They see what it is. No, it's, it's a total free choice. They put the extra ones back into a big manila envelope. Put that aside. And then they feed that card into another envelope that you hold with your head turned. And the whole time you're not looking at any of this stuff. They put it back in there. You put a bulldog clip on it. Or um, if you don't have a bulldog clip handy. Uh, a little chip clip will do just fine. Anyway, it's a clip, this kind of a clip. Put it on there. You hang that thing on your table, you know, because uh, typically a bulldog clip has a hole in it. So you can hang that on your table. You leave it there. You don't touch it. You don't look at it. It's just sitting there. Um, and then you go through this fun little presentation where uh, you, get, you, there's this little insurance document that's sort of a gag that you sign and give it to them to hold on to before their flight. Then you do some byplay with them and have a little bit of fun, and then you ultimately um, predict where they chose to fly to. And then the kicker is when they open up the little insurance policy inside of there, it was predicted where they would go. That's the effect. The method, nothing new. I, I mean, it's not. I'm not going to tell you what the method is, but it's nothing you haven't heard of or seen before. But he's combined these in such a way that it's very, very clever. Very, very easy to do within the reach of any skill level, for sure. Um, so, the uh, for the most part, this is a solid product. I gave it four stars, Stone Status of Gem. I did have a couple of issues with the ad copy. One of them was it says that the spectator can handle the envelope, and that basically it, it made it sound like the spectator could hold the envelope and that you never touch the envelope. And that they can hold on to it and that they can remove the card from it at the end to show that you were right. That's not entirely true. You do have to handle the envelope a little bit. Uh, and when it comes to removing the card from the envelope, you also have to kind of help. So it's not, I mean, it's not anything that I think takes away from the method, but I'm just clarifying the ad copy there. Uh, and there was one other thing, and I apologize, I'm going to have to open up my laptop and look at my notes here. I thought I had this memorized before I came in, but I don't. Um, so, uh, what was the other one? Number five. Uh, oh yeah. It says the performer never sees the place, uh, the name of the place that's on the card until it's taken out of the envelope at the end, after he's already revealed the prediction. That's true. But just to be clear, he, he still does see something that lets him know what the place is. Okay. So, you know, this isn't real mind reading here, guys, all right? So, that to me, I don't think that was a, you know, they were trying to cheat or sneak or whatever, but I just want to be clear what you're getting. So, you're getting this, this book here. It's, it's well written. It's about 70-ish uh, oh, pages here, um, and it's, it's very well written. There's some great applications for this other than just an airplane flight. Uh, there's lots of other things you can do with it. He's got applications for kids' shows, for corporate events, for everything you can imagine. Um, and uh, I think Paul Romani had, yeah, he had a couple contributions to it. He had sort of a, a way to use it to do like a game of Clue, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, anyway, there's lots of different cool things in here. 
Plus, you get uh, not not a PDF, but a JPEG of the little insurance document that you're going to sign and put in their pocket or whatever. Uh, the only thing, the other thing that just kind of bugged me a little bit on page 17. This says, uh, and is it 17? No, I lied. Maybe I'm not going to find the page now. Uh, probably not. Sorry. Worst review ever. Let me just see if I can find it real quick because I'd like to read what they say. I thought it was page 17, but maybe not. Anyway, what they say in here is that, that the included DVD shows the performance of multiple performers doing the effect so that you get to see different styles. It does not show that at all. It shows uh, Jasper Blakely's alter ego, that Russian guy. It shows him doing it three different times. That's it. So I don't know what they, if that was just a typo or they meant to do that and they forgot to put it on the disc or what. But all you get is Jasper Blakely doing it three times. And be warned, he is crude, um, risque, bordering on a little too offensive probably. But that has nothing to do with whether or not, you know, how you're going to do the effect. Um, but just know that if you watch this, you're going to be exposed to some crude sexual humor and uh, a few F-bombs. So... That aside, uh, if you like the idea of, of the prediction or you're looking for a clever method for other types of prediction effects, I think you'll be happy with this. It's 40 bucks, and for what you get, you know, you get the, the uh, book and the DVD, and you, so you get to see it live. Not the greatest footage in the world either, but um, you still get to see it live. So all in all, pretty solid product. If you like the concept, 40 bucks, four stars, stone status, a gem. That's it for that. Let's take a look at, yep, random iTunes song of the moment. Today we have, oh man, it's like Classics Week. Save Your Love by Great White, man. Holy cow. You guys remember that? Uh, I actually went to, um, they were my first concert. It was back in Florida, in Orlando in like 1991. It was Great White, Trickster, and the scorpions you guys remember trickster my gosh so trickster opened and it was great white and the scorpions what a killer show by the way that was my first ever real live rock concert and the dudes were like this tall they were so far away anyway save your love by great white thanks for watching see you on the next review peace and out <laughs>